Hi, and welcome back to the Digital Job Site. And this will be, uh, I'll make this the fourth video in this series of um, drawing stair stringers using uh, SketchUp to do the math uh, to create a stringer. Uh, in the first three sessions, we created a drawing plane, added elements that would be encountered on a job site. In the third, we um, uh, calculated the rise for the stairway, added the run, and, and created this stair stringer component. Um, and uh, I'll clarify one thing here. Uh, when I did the drawing, I drew this as a roof truss. Here's the subfloor on the, on the job. And then I said I like to use three-quarter inch plywood for a stringer or for a hanger to, to uh, support the stair jacks. And I left, I used the guideline to represent that. Here I'm just going to trace this geometry that, is, that was grouped in uh, the first section of this video. So create, uh, make a component out of this, and that is going to be the hanger, which is simple enough to do. Jump into this mode, and then um, you can see I just pull this material out, let's say 42 inches wide for a 42 inch wide staircase. And we'll get rid of that extra geometry line there. And because this is typically made out of plywood, I'm going to um, use the select, use the eyedropper tool, select our plywood color material. Select our plywood color material. Uh, come on, SketchUp, let's get this right. And it's not going to, it's not cooperating. I, so I just used the in model. There, I got the plywood sample, just as a different way of going about getting that color. So you can see how the stair stringer um, could be attached to the plywood, and the plywood attached to the face, face of those floor trusses. And because we created a component, it's simple to um, select our stringer component, the Move tool, hit Control, and then we'll slide the stringer over and kind of see how um, how a stairway is developing here. All right, and with that, um, see, I'm just going to back up this extra stringer and show you um, what this work has um, given us. And by taking the the um, dimensioning tool, let's see, I'm going to jump into the component. And I won't stay out of the component edit mode. I'm just going to put some dimensions on this. You can see here where our run is 10 inches and our rise is 7 and 3 quarters. And the nice thing about this is now I can click from the concrete floor to the top of that first rise and I come up with a dimension of 7 inches. And once an inch and a quarter tread is put on top, and a half inch tile is added to the bottom, it's going to come up with a 7 3 quarter rise that we're after. Um, you can also calculate the hypotenuse dimension of this. Um, should that be something that's um, meaningful? Another thing we can do is, is uh, determine how long of a 2 by 12 we would need to cut the stairway out. So I click the long point at the top, click this point at the bottom and get this dimension to behave, which it's uh, being a little erratic here on me, so I'm just going to back up, try that again. Sometimes SketchUp gets a little bit temperamental on not deciphering what it is you're trying to get it to do. It's just going to fight me every step of the way here. You can see how it's wanting to measure diagonally there. Ah, I finally got it. All right, and you can see that take 15 foot 9 and 5 sixteenths is going to be the total length of that um, stair stringer. And remember, that line is not parallel to the edge, but you could get that stringer out of a 16 footer. And I guess the last thing I'll show on this is um, that you can calculate the angle of the stairs by uh, using the protractor tool. I'm going to just select the heel of this um, stair jack. You can see I'm going off in the red 
dimension red uh, axis here. And then when I pivot the line up, I'm going to go all the way up to the top of the stringer and click the point along that same edge on the bottom of the stringer. And that tells us that our stairway is um, I think it's at 37.8 degrees. I, I um, wasn't watching the, the value control box when I clicked that top point. We'll do it again and by clicking up here, yes, it's 37.8 degrees is the angle of our stairway. Um, so that's how to use SketchUp to do the layout for stairs. Um, I think I'll do another digital blog site, digital job site blog in the future that shows how to embellish this uh, this stair drawing, and uh, we can add stringers. I mean treads and risers, and uh, show how to calculate a, um, a stairwell opening dimension, etc. Uh, which can all be done now that we've established this basis um, for a stairway model. We'll put this um, SketchUp model into the digital job site blog post and uh, so that you can work with it and experiment with it if you're so inclined. Thanks for watching.